Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn the steady state error and its derivation. Okay, so let us see what happens. What is steady state error? So by the definition, it is the difference between actual output. Okay, actual output and the desired output. This is the main thing. And one more thing here, I can replace this desired output as reference input. Since the reference input whatever the reference input is there that tells the tells the level of desired output that's why i said it is uh, reference input and as well as this actual output is nothing but the like here it is feedback right this is a feedback signal which is sent to again to the input side so we can write here actual output or the feedback signal okay feedback signal so in other words you can tell this definition as it is the difference between the feedback signal and the reference input okay or vice versa you can tell okay now the thing is that here when, when we go for derivation of steady state error we have this closed loop system okay using a negative feedback you can see over here here it is minus n this is a feedback so here it is minus n that's why i said using negative this is a closed loop system using negative feedback the thing is that here you can see e of s which is nothing but what error signal okay error signal will be there now b of s b of s is nothing but the feedback signal which is coming from here okay our output side which is coming from here okay so this is the thing now can I write E of S, the error signal, whatever is there in the system, as R of S reference input minus B of S. This is what the definition says. See, it is nothing but the difference, uh, I can say, see I can write it over here. Steady state error, whatever the error signal is there, it is nothing but the reference input, okay, reference input minus the feedback signal so it is the difference between in for first sentence i said it is the difference between actual output and the desired output or you can tell it is a difference between the reference input or the and the feedback signal or vice versa you can tell okay the thing is that reference input and feedback signal is important so here by the definition I wrote here the equation that is E of S is equal to R of S minus B of S. The thing is that we have for B of S one more formula. Now what is the formula for B of S? B of S is nothing but the feedback, right? Feedback signal. I can write feedback signal as what? C of S which is the output and the feedback gain, right? C of S into that is equal to C of S into H of S. Okay, remember this E of S is equal to R of S minus B of S. For B of S, I have one formula which is C of S into H of S. Now, the next thing, so what happens? The E of S becomes R of S minus C of S into H of S. Just replacing B of S with this. Correct? Now, again, C of S, I have one more formula. What is the formula for that? It is nothing but C of S is equal to E of S into G of S. You can see over here. What is C of S? It is output side which is equal to E of S into G of S. E of S into G of S will be giving me C of S. Okay. So this also you remember this I will uh, substitute over here. So again E of S changes. So E of S becomes equal to E of S is equal to R of S minus C of S was there. I substitute, I will substitute here E of S into G of S into this thing H of S is there. Okay. Now the, it is proper. Now E of S I got. Now the thing is that I have here E of S and here also E of S. So what I will do, I will combine these two. Like so terms should be combined. So that's the same thing. So E of S, I'll bring this this side. It becomes plus minus is there. It's on the LHS part, it is plus E of S into G of S H of S 
equal to r of s okay from this i can take e of s common so e of s is equal to uh, common i'll take so 1 plus what is remaining g of s into h of s equal to r of s the final thing so i'll write it here okay so e of s will become what it is equal to r of s divided by i'll bring this that side towards our uh, right hand side so 1 plus g of s into h of s so here you can see this is the final error signal okay what are the error signal is that this is the laplace domain as you know it is s terms s terms s domain okay now the thing is that if you want to change it into time domain we will do that so basically this is e of s r of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s now this is for what for non unity feedback non unity feedback that means that means what the gain the h of s value is not 1 okay non unity it is not 1 if it is 1 then what happens e of s will become r of s by 1 plus g of s h of s will be not there this is also an equation where this will be unity feedback unity feedback means the h of s value will be what 1 so i can directly remove it 1 means just multiplying with g of s it, it is nothing but g of s itself so this you remember this is for non-unity feedback where h of s will be having some certain value it is not 1 that's it and e of this equation the unity feedback h of s value is 1 so i can directly remove that h of s value okay now here is the thing whenever you find out steady state data always remember it will it is the sign denoted by e and ss okay subscript now this is steady state error which is given by limit t tends to infinity e of t okay the error signal which is which should be in what time domain but we found out in which domain s domain laplace domain okay now thing is that i have to convert we found out the error signal in what laplace domain right see here uh, error signal was in what laplace domain so we have to convert it into time domain laplace or s domain you can tell we have to convert into t domain that's what it is here e of t so in order to find out steady state error we have to perform the uh, perform the mathematical operation which is limit t tends to infinity e of t so first we have to get e of t from e of s how will you get from e, e of t from e of s simple thing you remember this thing limit t tends to infinity f of t any function of t which is equal to limit s tends to 0 f s into f of s this is the important theorem okay so this is nothing but laplace domain by using final value theorem okay which says that what this thing so limit t tends to infinity f of t if, if the function is in time domain if you want to convert into to laplace domain it is limit s tends to 0 s into f of s okay vice versa also you can do i'll show you how to do that now what i'll do i'll try to relate this this is nothing but the theorem okay final value theorem of the laplace domain final value theorem so i'll try to relate this with the whatever this thing is there what is that steady state error formula which is limit t tends to infinity e of t i'll relate i'll try to relate this to so what happens i can I write e of ss ess not e of ss ess is equal to steady state error steady state error like this like that you have to read okay steady state and error now limit t tends to infinity e of t is there here f of t is there. so i can write e of t correct in place of f of t is the same thing function of t itself now equal to limit s tends to 0 now s into what happens here here it is e of t here this becomes e of s okay see i'm writing the same thing e o e s s is equal to steady state error is equal to limit t tends to infinity e of t directly and comparing with final value theorem i can see that i can write it as limit s tends to 0 s into e of s okay here f of f of t f of s e of t e of s that's it 
now efs i can put it over here so whatever we got which is limit s tends to 0 s into e of s what we got e of s r of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s for non feed non unity feedback okay h of s let it remain that so this is nothing but what e of s itself so steady state error you can whenever they give you problems you can apply this formula e s s steady state error is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into this i can put it over here numerator part s into r of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s now the thing is that this is nothing but the negative feedback is there okay now so basically here the steady state error depends on what it depends on the r of s reference input okay it's a uh, type its magnitude we'll discuss later about that how it affects the steady state error and all then it depends upon the g of s h of s what is g of s h of s it is nothing but open loop transfer function this you have to understand this is open loop transfer function okay so g of s h of s so steady state error depends upon r of s which is nothing but the reference input as well as steady state error depends upon the g of s h of s which is nothing but the open loop transfer function these things you have to remember